My name is Garth Evans, I'm the writer-director of The Raid 2. So this scene is um, about an ambush in a nightclub and we establish earlier on in a conversation that it's a jam-packed, busy nightclub with a lot of people and this guy is uh, sort of like a hitman who's like, you know, fallen on that tough times um, and has since kind of like led the life of a vagabond but he still works, like, you know, he's still a loyal assassin to his boss then. And so what I wanted to do was establish this kind of like almost like an, an absurd moment here where as he's looking at this photograph of his son he gets lost and then realizes like suddenly out of the blue that this entire nightclub that was once like you know busy and you know full of life is now completely empty and it's all part of this ambush and this uh, attempt on his life. Now obviously like the idea of doing that kind of straight cut from the busy life of the nightclub and the music and then just cutting it straight to silence on a realistic level okay this is not logical but I just love the idea of that change of like visual and audio landscape to give you that feeling of like this inevitable sort of tragedy is about to happen. So this actor is um, Yayan Rukian. He's been a martial artist, he's worked with us since um, the first film Maranto up until now. And he's playing Bracoso in this after playing Mad Dog in the, the first movie. Now this fight scene, the, the, it was very much, we designed the fight scene a long time ago, but then we started to adapt as we found the location. Because this nightclub, as you can see now, has this very interesting sort of like tiered structure into the balcony. And one of the things I'm always fascinated with fight sequences and action sequences is that idea of being able to give the audience a sense of geographical space. That's why we always tend to kind of, you know, show these wider areas of the landscape first so we can get a sense of the geography of it and know where each place leads. And uh, to know when to come in close tight and then when to just jump back out wide again so that we get a sense of where he is. Basically, a lot of action films these days, they tend to hide their choreography. I prefer wider shots, roaming shots, things that we can have a certain amount of energy and momentum on so that you feel and you see pretty much everything. 